Hello, I'm Brian Walsh and I'm with the Technical Support, Customer Support and Sales Teams at DNA Star. I've created this video to show different ways of loading files into the Megaline Pro application. And I've also created a follow-up video showing the different supported file types that Megaline Pro accepts. There are many options for loading files into our software. Uh, before I get started, I'm at the DNA Star Navigator and I'm going to launch the Megaline Pro application. So probably the simplest way to bring in files in any of our applications is just to drag and drop them right into the application itself. So here I'm just going to grab some FASTA format files and I can just drop them right on the screen. FASTA format does not designate what uh, sequence type it is, so you need to designate that. So similarly, I drag and drop those samples from the welcome screen. They can also be brought in when you're within a project, such as right now. Here I'm just going to grab some additional samples. You can drop them in anywhere on these windows and they will be brought in. Once you're inside of a project, you can also use the file drop menu. There are several options for bringing in samples. Uh, I can add sequences, which is very similar to the dropping function. There's also a couple more options. This one is add sequences end to end. This is effectively a concatenation of sequences. And with this one, I'm just gonna leave the default name, but I'm gonna add my sequences. Here, I'm gonna choose my first two. So if you do not like the order that the samples are in, you can change them. Here I have my F1 and F2. I can actually rearrange those by choosing these organizational buttons on the side. Similarly, I can add and remove them as I see fit at this point. And there's an option here. If I'm gonna go through a, a series of these files, I can leave this checked and this will reproduce this window once the, the files have been created, as you've seen there. If you don't want to use any more, you can click it off here, or alternatively, you can check that box and it won't produce additional windows. So here my file was added. I just wanted to show you here in this upper pane, by sliding this viewfinder, which is the lower window, I can go to that transition point. It's clearly marked on the overview. And the very last thing I wanted to show you, bringing in samples for a new project, is to enter sequences. And this is more of a manual process. And here it's organized in a FASTA format. So you need this little caret at the beginning and you can enter your sequence name. And here you enter your sequence. This can be pasted in or you can type it in manually. And again, if I wanted to add additional samples, if I was gonna go through a series of these, I can leave this checked. I'm gonna leave it off. And my sample is brought in. So as far as starting a new project, that's pretty much the basics. There are two little minor shortcut options here. One is new alignment. And this one is a little bit of a shortcut because once you choose your samples, it automatically uses the default alignment methodology, which in the software is the muscle alignment and uh, it uses the default parameters. So this will load your samples and jump straight to the alignment. The last option is very similar, except it allows you to choose your alignment options or allows you to alter the, the default parameters before proceeding. A little bit of a shortcut. Here I'm gonna continue using muscle, but lower the gap penalty. There's two other options I wanted to demonstrate. This is if you are starting with a pre-existing project. This is the Megaline Pro application. It's able to accept Megaline Pro projects. And Megaline Pro projects will have a .msa extension. And these can, once again, either be drag dropped right onto the welcome page and launched that way. Or if you already have a blank document open, they can similarly be drag and dropped at this phase. And the very last thing I wanted to mention was that if you're a longtime LaserGene user and you may have used the precursor to the Megaline Pro application called Megaline, and these will have a .meg extension. These can also be added as well. And once again, they can either be added by dropping them on the welcome page or loading them into a blank document.